welcome to this circuit, which is going to be the first in which we're going to start doing some programming. So, I think the first baby step into the venture of programming is going to be getting the Arduino to activate some of these digital pins. In other words, to turn them on. Now, what does turning them on mean? It actually means supplying them with a similar kind of voltage and power that the power pins that we've been using um, have. So, so far we've been using the GND and the 5 volts. And perhaps as an intermediate step I can kind of show you what we're going to do. So if we just grab um, a cable and put it into 5 volts over here and another to put it into GND, we can put in some LEDs and turn them on using, you know, 330 ohm resistors. So if we get the short leg into the blue rail, and we're going to just grab four, and I'm just going to put them in. Um, hopefully, none of them are busted. So, we have four LEDs here, and if we were to take some resistors, we could take them to the red rail and just turn the LEDs on one by one. Um, so this is essentially how an LED is being turned on. You have a power supply, in this case 5 volt, you have a negative terminal, which is the minus, which is connected to the G and D, and the LED is turned on. So what we're going to try to do instead is we're going to take the same resistor and we're going to connect it just into the breadboard and then take a cable to one of the pins. So I'm going to put this into pin 6. So now I'm going to have to turn pin 6 on in order for this LED to come on and the effect will be exactly the same as if this was plugged into the red rail. But we're going to wait for a programming command to do this. So what I'm going to do right now is connect um, four Arduino pins. And then since I've already got six, I think I can do six, eight, ten, and twelve. And connect them into the breadboard exactly the same way as this. And then we're going to have a look at the program. Okay, there it is, 6, 8, 10, and 12 pins connected to 4 LEDs. Now, let's create a little program to have these LEDs come on and off in various different patterns. Hello, so here we have our Arduino IDE, or Arduino interface. Um, there's, if you notice, two sections. The first says void setup, and the other one says void loop. Now inside the void setup we're going to write a bunch of commands that are going to get executed only once at the start of the program. And inside the loop we're going to write a bunch of commands that are going to get executed over and over again. Forever and ever. Now, um, in this program we're only going to use three commands. One is going to be pin mode, assigning a pin whether it's an input or an output. The other is going to be digital write basically turning a pin on or off and lastly we're going to use a command called delay and delay just tells the program to wait a certain amount of time before the next um, command is executed so we could do this in a more sophisticated way we could create variables but we're going to do that in future tutorials and i'll just get started as you can see on our breadboard over there, we're using four Arduino pins. They are 6, 8, 10, and 12. And to activate all of them to be used to um, turn these LEDs on, we're going to write pin mode. 
for the first spin and the words output in capital letters and write a semicolon. Semicolons are necessary for um, at the end of every single command in Arduino or C language. So we're going to need to do this for the four pins. As I said, 6, 8, 10, 12. And you can save yourself some time and copy and paste. 6, 8. Very nice. So what are we going to put in the loop? Well, I guess what we could do is uh, the simplest program would be to turn all the lights on and then turn them all off. So to do that, we're going to write the command that says digital write. And we write the pin number. And we write either high or low or one or zero, but I prefer high or low. And so this is going to turn the first LED on. And since there's no other commands, this is going to execute it again and again and again and stay on forever. So I'm just going to upload that. And hopefully you're going to see that first LED come on. So we could do the same for the other three and say eight, 10, 12. So this will turn on all the four LEDs and then we could take a break and then turn them all off. So we could take a break of say a second, a second you write a delay a thousand so the unit of the delay is actually a millisecond so 1000 milliseconds is one second so then we can turn them all off after a second the way we can do that is just like before um, we write digital write except instead of high we put low and so we can then have four digital write for each designated pin um, we can turn them all off. And of course we need a delay again. Now what's going to happen is the code, the computer is going to execute these four instantaneously, keep them on for a second, turn them all off and keep them off for a certain amount of time. I suppose I can, I don't know, keep them all off for two seconds. If... You can do any anything here. And hopefully that's going to compile, and it does. And this should have us blink, actually. I put a second here, so it should be a second on and a second off for all the lights. There it is. And we could easily remove two of these zeros. And have a bit of a strobe effect. And of course, we can write different patterns um, in terms of high, low, delay. Um, I could maybe turn one LED on um, and then off, wait a tenth of a second, and then do the same thing to the next one. So I think what this is going to do is have like a cascading effect that's going to go up and down. And what this what this program is really good for is for you to basically use digital write and delay functions in a various mix so you get a feeling to how this code is executed, how the loops are run, how the computer goes through one command through another. And obviously, as you're doing this, you're going to have a lot more errors than I did. For me, it compiled the first time because I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times. But I think that this is a fantastic way to start. I think um, I'm going to upload this. We're going to have a look. But from here on in, 
you should try your own combination. Try having some kind of a police light pattern. Try having inside and outside. I don't know. Get creative. Maybe get an acceleration effect happening if you know how to. But let's see if this is going to do what I think it's going to do. It's going to have a light sliding up and down. Yep. So that has a single light sliding up and down. Excellent. Well, so much for now. Your turn to build it.